Hello guys, this is Arvind here from Edureka and I welcome you all to this amazing session on Jenkins Git integration. So before we move any further, let us have a quick look at the agenda for today's session. First, we will start with what exactly is Git and then we will talk about what exactly is Jenkins. Once we cover these topics, then we will talk about the various advantages of integrating Git with Jenkins. Finally, we will see a demo which will show you how do you integrate Git with Jenkins. I hope I'm clear with the agenda guys. It is pretty much simple and just a reminder in case you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel Please do subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from Edureka And also if you're someone who's looking for a course in DevOps You can check the link for that course in the description box below So without wasting any further time, let us begin with our first topic. What is Git? So we all know that necessity is the mother of all inventions and similarly Git was also invented to fulfill certain necessities that the developers faced before Git came into picture. So let us take a step back to learn all about the version control system and how Git came into existence. Version control is the management of changes to documents, computer programs, large websites and other collections of information. So there are basically two types of version control system or the BCS as you call it. The first one is the centralized and the second one is the distributed. So if you talk about the centralized VCS, this uses a central server to store all the files and enables team collaboration. It works on a single repository to which users can directly access a central server. Now, if you talk about the distributed VCS, these systems do not necessarily rely on a central server to store all the versions of a project file. In distributed VCS, every contributor has a local copy or a clone of the main repository. That is everyone maintains a local repository of their own which contains all the files and metadata present in the main repository. So now let us talk about the actual definition of Git. So Git is a free open source distributed VCS tool designed to handle everything from small to very large projects with speed and efficiency. It was created by Linus Torvalds in 2005 to develop the Linux kernel. Git has the functionality performance security and flexibility that most teams and individual developers need. It also serves as an important distributed version control DevOps tool. So I hope I'm clear with the definition of Git. Now let us talk about the definition of Jenkins. So Jenkins is an open source automation tool written in Java with plugins built for continuous integration purpose. Jenkins is used to build and test your software projects continuously making it easier for developers to integrate changes to the project and also making it easier for the users to obtain a fresh build. It also allows you to continuously deliver your software by integrating with a large number of testing and deployment technologies. With Jenkins, organizations can accelerate the software development process through automation. Jenkins integrates development lifecycle processes of all kinds, including build, document, test, package, stage, deploy static analysis and much more. Jenkins achieves continuous integration with the help of plugins. Plugins allow the integration of various DevOps stages. If you want to integrate a particular tool, you just need to install the plugins that are required for that tool. For example, the various plugins that are supported by Jenkins include Git, Maven2 Project, Amazon EC2, HTML Publisher and so on. So this was the definition of Git. Now if you talk about the advantages of Git, as already discussed, it is an open source tool and it has a great community support. It is very much easy to install and almost has 1000 plus plugins to ease your work. If a plugin does not exist, you can code it and share it with the community. It is free of cost and it is built with Java and hence it is portable to all the major platforms. So this was all about the Jenkins. Now let us talk about why should we integrate Git with Jenkins or why they are used together. So as already discussed, Git is a source control manager and that's where you keep your source code for tracking all the code changes that happen over the time and to baseline the versions when they are ready for release. Jenkins on the other hand is a continuous integration solution. It was devised to automate most of the tasks that a developer has to do while developing a new application. Without a CI solution, a developer has to spend much time doing these repetitive non-productive tasks. So let us take an example of a new feature in a web application. So what happens here is a developer will be identified and assigned the task. 
So he takes the existing code base from the source code, say for example, Git, makes his changes, carries out unit testing, ensures the code quality manually, and checks the new code back into the Git. Then he has to build the code, deploy it into the integration instance, run integration testing, and once the change seems satisfactory, he raises a request for production deployment. Now, if we only had a minion to take care of this testing, building, quality checks, and deployment sections, the poor developer could have focused better on the stuff that is really good at, that is, implementing and improving the features logic. So this minion is nothing but Jenkins. It acts as an orchestrator, which runs all of these activities once the change is checked into the source control, and thus gives a quick feedback to the developer whether the changes he has made are good enough for the production deployment or not. So Jenkins is extremely flexible, open source, and has a lot of plugins that can do almost anything that you wish to. So these were the reasons of using Git with Jenkins. Now next comes the question of how do they work together? So here I'll be showing you one demo, and these are the steps that are covered in this demo. So first we create a sample program. So you can create any program that you want, be it a Python program or a Java program or any other program. Then in the second step, we create a Jenkins job. And once we create the Jenkins job, we add the program that is created in the first step to the GitHub. So for that, we create a GitHub repository, a public GitHub repository, and upload the code on that repository using Git. And in the next step, you add Git plugin in Jenkins. And finally, we configure the Jenkins job based on the GitHub repository. So let me just show you how do you do this. So what we need to do here is we have to create a directory on your desktop and you have to create one Python file here. So the name of the file is say for example anything that you want or in this case I've written my file. Okay, so this is basically a simple Python file with a very simple code print hello world. That's it. So what we need to do here is you can open your git bash here. So first let us initialize an empty git repository here using the command git in it. So an empty repository has been initialized here in this demo folder. So now let us just check the status here using the command git status. So as you can see here, this file, it is in red color, myfile.py. So red color means here that it has not been added. So just to add the file, you can use the command git add and the dot. You can also specify the name of the file here, like myfile.py. But if there are multiple files that you need to add, then you can use the dot symbol. So the file has been added, and now let us just verify this. Okay. So as you can see here, previously it was red, and now it is green here. So after adding the file, now let us just commit these changes. For that, the command is git commit hyphen m. Any message if you want add my file so we have now committed these changes so what we need to do here is we have to push this my file.py on the github repository so for that let me just go to my github account okay okay guys so what we need to do here is we have to create a public repository for that you have to click on this repositories on your github main page and you have to click on new so once you click on new you can name the repository say for example git jenkins integration or whatever name that you want and the description is optional here and if you want you can initialize this repository with a readme and click on create repository so this has been created here so guys now we have created a public repository on github and now our task is to upload this file called myfile.py onto the public repository on GitHub. For that, we will have to first connect to it, and the command for that is git remote add origin and the link of that repository. And how do you get that link? So when you create this repository, here you get the link. Okay, so just copy it and paste it here. So this has been added and now we can push our content there. So for that the command is git push hyphen u origin and master. 
here you can see if you just refresh this page okay so my file dot py here it has been added onto our public repository on github so now what our job is we have to create a jenkins job first login onto your jenkins homepage enter the username and the password so now what we'll do here is we will create here a new job jenkins get demo and choose the freestyle project click on ok okay so here what you need to specify the source code management in the source code management okay before that you have to download the get plugin so how do you do that go to manage jenkins here as you can see left hand click on manage plugins okay if you already have git plugin installed on your jenkins you can click on install it here so if it is already downloaded yeah as you can see here on my system it has already been downloaded you can find it here else if it is not available like if it is not installed you can click on available search here by typing git and download it so this is how you download the git plugin and going back to our project let us just configure this now okay so this was our project that we created jenkins git demo so let us just configure this project so in the source code management section here you must click on git and you enter the git repository here copy this this link and you paste it here click on apply it has been added and here in the build trigger section we have to click on pole scm so here we have to enter the cron expression periodic scheduling of jenkins job is done through pole scm so what you need to do here is in my case i'm typing here phi asterisk separated by space i hope you guys are aware of the cron syntax so phi asterisk here mean that our jenkins job will run every single minute so every single minute our jenkins job will check for the source code change if there is any change it will run like it will build the job it will build the code this is the meaning of that click on apply yeah and now since we have a python code so what we'll do here we will add a build step since guys i'm using your windows operating system so i'm clicking on execute windows batch command if you are using linux or mac os you can execute shell script okay so click on here so since i have a python code there so i will type python like the command to run the python file my file dot okay fair enough click on apply save so now we will build this project okay as you can see here our build was successful so this was the hello world thing that we had written in our program and here it shows success okay so now what we will try to do is we will do some changes there in the my file we will add a few lines and then we will see what happens control c say for example hello world now we will say how are you save it okay so now we have to push these changes onto the public repository of github so we will do that through git so now let us check the status first okay so modified as you can see here the file has been modified and that has been shown here so for that we will first add now let us check the status so now we will commit this file some message if you want modified my file press enter so now we have to push these changes so for that the command is git push hyphen u origin master so these changes have been pushed onto the github account so let me just refresh this page okay so as you can see here modified my file this was the commit message that we had written so our changes have been reflected here 
if you can see here print how are you we had added this line if you remember so now we will see what happens to jenkins now so here we will click on build now so if you click on console output here okay started by an scm change so since there was change in the source code that triggered the jenkins job so here you can see hello world and how are you both the lines have been displayed here and it is success this was the demo with this we have come to the end of this session i hope you guys have enjoyed this session if you have any queries related to this session you can post them in the comment box below and we will try to get back to you as early as possible till then happy learning thank you i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning